Hello everyone, my name is Don. You guys know me. Uh, not to be confused with Don King, my hair's a lot more lavish. I snuck in the studio. The guys are not here. I'm doing a special post game sevens. Special. I am a Minnesota Vikings fan. As my NFL team. As an NBA fan, I am a Chicago Bulls fan, which if you follow basketball, you know it's a very sad thing, sad community to be a part of. We haven't had anything to cheer for for a very long time. I love Derrick Rose, though. There will not be any Derrick Rose slander accepted or tolerated on this platform. With that being said, we haven't won shit since the 90s. Uh, shout out to Joachim Noah, Luol Deng. The 2010s were fun. Uh, ben Gordon. There were some guys I was excited about. But we just haven't had much to cheer for. Minnesota Vikings, we haven't won a Super Bowl. 2009 with Brett Favre was fun. Culpepper years were fun. Shout out to Randy Moss, Chris Carter. Percy Harvin, Stephon Diggs, he, he was with us first before he went and balled out with Buffalo and now Houston. Um, Justin Jefferson, we know how to pick up some receivers. I'm saying all that to say I haven't had much to cheer for. I'm also a New York Yankees fan. Shit, it's sad being me. Fuck, um, we haven't won shit since 2009. What I saw today from the Minnesota Timberwolves makes me say I just should just do the logical thing and bandwagon. I'm already a Vikings fan. So I should turn into a Timberwolves fan. What, what, what do you think? It'll give me more reason to spend time in Minnesota. Um, says no one ever. But, um, yeah, I, I think Anthony Edwards is 22. So if he has a fruitful, long career, he'll play for the next 12, 13 years. That's a long time for me. I could be a fan of that team for the next decade. I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking about bandwagon. Don't, don't look at me like that. People do it all the time. All the time. I'm a pretty lower guy. I've been a fan of my teams my entire life. I've never bandwagoned before. I stick it out. But what I saw today, tonight, was just phenomenal. The Minnesota Total Wolves, I, listen, I'm Jason Tatum's my favorite NBA player. I think the Boston Celtics are going to win it all. I would love to see the Minnesota Timberwolves against the Boston Celtics. They play clamp down defense. They swarm you. It's intoxicating. And Boston Celtics goes through these weird spurts where they just don't know what the fuck to do. You can't do that against this Timberwolves team. You just can't. You're going to get exposed. And as a basketball fan, I want to see them. I want to see the Celtics go through adversity in the finals and adjust. Because when they went to the finals against the Golden State Warriors, they couldn't adjust. The Warriors adjusted, uh, and they won it. Everyone thought Celtics would, and they made some amazing adjustments for them to win. Um, I would love to see the Timberwolves play the Boston Celtics in the championship. Full strength, though. What Porzingis? Because this Anthony Edward kid is, is special. Nas Reed is special. Cat. Who I've always been a fan of. I don't I don't know why he gets a bad rap. But Cat's playing phenomenal basketball right now. It's hard to go from a number one to a number two. I don't think people give him enough credit. 
he's been the face of that organization for so long. And then this young thoroughbred, Anthony Edwards, comes in and he's he's not the face anymore. And he's not the first guy on the call sheet. That's that's an adjustment. And he's done it with such grace. Uh, I saw Alex Rodriguez at the game. I I did know he was a minority owner. He's a former Yankee, even though I have my own um, feelings about him. Uh, I support anyone part of the Yankees community, so shout out to him being a minority owner. Your team is in the Western Conference Finals, first time in 20 years. Shout out to Kevin Garnett. Um, shout out to my brother Marvin. Kevin Garnett was his favorite player growing up. Uh, while we're making shout outs, shout out to my brother Boozer. He's a Knicks fan. Uh, him, Stephen A. Smith, everyone in Staten Island, Manhattan, Queens are sad right now. I'm not going to rejoice in that, but like Knicks fans are like annoying. Like there's like Cowboy fans and then there's Knicks fans. It's like, damn. That you dudes are like, tone it down a bit. Tone it down a bit. Um, so yeah, I think this special was for me to say, I'm thinking about becoming a bandwagon. Um, some of you have done it before, don't lie. I'm thinking about doing it. The Timberwolves, they could lead me to prosperity as a fan. Uh... They play in the Target Center. I love Target stores. It's probably my favorite place in the world. I'm there five times a week. The food there is really good. They have some great bars. I was just there, by the way. They have some great bars. Uh, whiskey, bourbon, cognac guy. They have some great bars there. The Midwest is, is a gem. You, you should visit. But um, I want to shout out to Jokic. Kid's amazing. Um, as a basketball fan, I would like to see him with some more help. Uh, Jamal Murray was hurt, but I, they lost a bit of their bench last year. Yeah. From last year to this year, they lost a bit of their bench, and, and I think they, that got exposed in this series. Uh, the Timberwolves was such a great matchup for them. Shout out to Tom Connolly, their GM. He was actually the Nuggets GM, and now he's the president of basketball operations for the Timberwolves. Genius. People talk about Sam Presti a lot and what he does with OKC and all the first-round picks, but Tom Connolly has secretly been the best brain in basketball. You know how hard it is to get a superstar on a rookie contract? Anthony Edwards is still on his rookie contract. His money hasn't kicked in yet. It allows the team to maneuver and go get pieces. They signed Cat to an extension last year. They got Nas Reed locked in. Like, no, I'm, no, I'm, I, I'm gonna have to bandwagon. I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna have to bandwagon. Uh, I'm gonna pray about it, sleep on it. Um. Because I don't see a way through. I'm looking at my Chicago Bulls roster. There's nothing to be excited about. Huge, huge DeRozan fan. So if we can keep him, overpay him. But we need to trade Zach Levine. We should have traded him when we got, we could have got amazing assets for him. We didn't. You you tell me why. Uh, Lonzo Ball, I, I don't even know. I'm not even going to rack my brain to think about Lonzo Ball. But I'm a fan of him. Just don't know what is going on with him health-wise. Shit, I'll take Jello Ball at this point. I'll take the other brother. Like, give me a ball, bro. Give me one. There's nothing to be happy about. For basketball fans out there, you know it takes two to three years to, to actually get the motor going. If you're a bad team. It takes two to three years of pieces unless you're getting a cornerstone piece. We're not getting Giannis. We're not getting Joker. We're not we're not getting any of the top five guys. I would love to see Tatum in a bull shirt. We're not getting these guys. So when we're doing it through the draft and key pieces, that takes two to three years. I'm in my 30s, mid-30s. 
Do I have two to three years to be a fan of the Bulls? I want to be happy. The Wolves, watching the Wolves make me happy. <sighs> this poses <sighs> a question for myself. Conundrum of sorts. Happiness or loyalty? Fuck. Happiness. Loyalty. Shit. I don't know, guys. Um, what I will say, basketball has been fun this year to watch. Really, really fun to watch. Um, I've seen my, my brothers in arms, Nick and Rudy, argue about this series in our group chat and it gets very comical it gets in, in, in intense sometimes um, extremely entertaining sometimes i just you know i'm a fly on the wall to just see them rant back and forth i just like to see the basketball see these guys just kind of go through their thoughts it's it's fun to see your loved ones idiosyncrasies and how they formulate their thoughts, no matter how chaotic they may be. Shout out to Rudy, sometimes Nick. But um, yeah, I'm going on a tangent. I'm going left. The Minnesota Timberwolves, I'm here to say to anyone that's a fan of a mediocre sport franchise, it's okay to be happy. It's okay to find happiness in a team that's going to bring you joy for an extended period of time. It's okay. Now, listen, listen, I want you to hear me. I'm not telling you to cheat. It's not what I'm telling you to do. I'm telling you to leave. It's a big difference. I'm telling you to leave. If your team sucks and they've sucked for a long time, leave. You have the right to leave. It's in the sports bio. The Madden edition. It's in the sports bio. Read it. I'm not saying that I left my bulls. I'm not saying that. I'm saying Jesus knows my heart. I may be allowed to leave the bulls community. I've been a loyal fan 30 plus years. Shout out to Anthony Edwards, Nas Reed, Jaden McDaniels, Cat Anthony Towns. The entire Minnesota organization. Thank you guys have a new fan in me. Um, not a fan of your color palettes, but I think I'm going to buy a jersey. I actually just ordered some of the AE ones, Anthony Edwards' signature shoe from Adidas. Low tops. I'm waiting for them to come. Try them on, see how they feel. And uh, see how I go with that, man. Right? But. I'm here to say to you guys, it's 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 okay to find happiness in your sports fan journey. I'm just going to dive into the Knicks a little bit because I just can't help but harp on them a little bit. Um, you guys got dealt a bad hand, but Jalen Brunson is amazing. I think Dallas does regret not signing him, even though I think he was never going to sign. Leon Rose made sure he was going to come to the Knicks. Super agent turned uh, GM, president of basketball operations for the New York Knicks. Uh, Jalen Brunson, do not sign that contract. They're going to give you an extension this summer. Do not sign it. You're worth two fifty. dollars Wait a year. You don't have to sign it. But if I'm like a Kevin Durant or like a DeRozan or one of these guys, I want to play for the Knicks. Look, look what they did. Hurt. Without Julius Randle, a lot of pieces. Jalen Brunson gets a running mate? Look what Luka's doing with Kyrie. They're in the Western Conference Finals. They barely play defense. Tom Timothy teams play defense. I'm a Scarlet Bulls fan. He was my coach for years. 
If the Knicks get a proper running rate for Jalen Brunson, Josh Hart's good. Even Chensel's really good. Like these guys are good. No, Josh Hart's really good. Let me rephrase that. OG Ananobi. Hartenstein, they got a team. Dude, if I'm KD, I'm one of these guys. I'm calling my agent. You know what I'm saying? I'm calling Nike. Get Mikey on the phone. Get me out of here. Get me out of Phoenix. This shit is a travesty. I want to go play in New York. Mm. I know James Dolan doesn't get a you know good rep when it comes to player uh, team ownership, but this team's really good. They're on the they're on the precipice of like major success, and no matter what anyone says, winning in New York is different. Like you. You can have New York prejudice all you want, but it's nothing like winning in New York. Let's be real. I'm not just being biased because I'm from Brooklyn. No. Come on, man. Come on. Let's be real. So, KD, think about New York. DeRozan, think about New York. Giannis, think about New York. It's an attractive place to play attractive very attractive um so yeah guys i know this is unorthodox unlike me to give you this so much uh commentary so much of me you're wondering why i have this quilt on it's quite uh quite cold in my studio It's quite fun being in the studio by yourself. This would be a normal part where Nick and Rudy just argue. Rudy goes on his rant. Nick, you're dumb as shit. Nick takes a sip and it's like, what are you talking about? It's fun. It's fun to just have you guys with me for a second. It's not going to happen often. Like, you don't hear from Ernie or Molly moderators all the time. That's That's the light I put myself in. The decorum in the room, the adults in the room. I try to keep the guys in check and line. But um, I just wanted to speak to you guys before the week starts. I'm thinking about becoming a Minnesota Timberwolves fan. I'm thinking about walking around in um, AE1 Adidas sneakers, like their Michael Jordan threes, and um, spending a lot of time in Minnesota. Football season and basketball season. Shout out to Sam Darnold. I heard you looking good in camp. Don't let me down. Don't let me down. Um, Ziggy Wolf, the owner of the Vikings, you haven't signed Jefferson yet? Not a fan of that. Not a fan of that. Um, yeah, that's it, man. The guys are going to be quite shocked when they check the recordings and Don went off. But um, I hope they're uh, entertained. Hope you guys are entertained. and. We will see you guys very, very soon. This has been a Game 7 special. NBA Playoff Game 7 special. Happiness or loyalty. That's what we're going to call this segment. I like, the, I like the way that shit sounds. NBA Playoff Game 7 special. Happiness or loyalty. You guys choose. The Minnesota Timberwolves make me very happy. Bulls, get your shit together. Get your shit together. Thank you for watching Come On Now, the podcast. Please be sure to subscribe, like, comment, and ring that bell so you get up-to-the-minute updates when we publish new content. You can also find us on Facebook and Instagram at Come On Now Podcast and X and TikTok at Come On Now Pod. Thank you again for supporting this channel.